What we see a lot with our home buyers is they want to experience the outdoors. And this is truly outdoor paradise here at Great Sky. Um, we have a walking, hiking trail system. We're also near the, the reservoir, so there's a lot of fishing, kayaking, canoeing, uh, just a lot to do. And a lot of people in, our, in the community walk around uh, our trail system a lot. That's one of the, the higher, uh, more u utilized amenities inside of the community. The benefits of Great Sky was that somebody asked me one day, why, why did you guys buy Great Sky? And I said, well, there's within two miles of Great Sky, there's a brand new Northside Hospital, there's two Publix, there's two Chick-fil-A's, there's two Starbucks. And all those people that I just named do a lot of homework before they buy anything. And there's a million square feet of retail right at the right near our entrance. It's got great location on five, Interstate 575 with regard to the commute back into the into the office centers and into the employment centers. So there's a lot going for it that can't be replaced today. So um, the fact that the community has amazing rolling hills, um, it has provided a challenge for us from a building perspective. So one of the ways that we've established um, this community is with an altering sewer system, which allows us to build inside of the, the rolling hills of Great Sky. And so it, it literally is an, uh, a low pressure grinder system that takes the sewer from the home site out to the sewer lines, out through the street um, in a fashion that allows us to build inside of this beautiful community. This was my first uh, um, entree into all-terrain sewer also. And so, um, you know, for me, it was personally an education on how it worked. And um, I probably had the same concerns that, that anybody else would have. Tell me, give me the reliability of this. And, and I think the benefit of, of the fact that this community was developed back in the early 2000s is, is you've got a lot of history and you've got a lot of history with regard to you know success and failures and what you do right and what you didn't do right and then equipment and as as i'm sure has progressed since 2000 the equipment's come a long way and i, I think that the the homeowners in in great sky um, may be new to them but it works and the service has been great you know, that's been very reliable. And now that we've taken over and, and brought in, you know, the E1 system and the Wascon that my phone doesn't ring off the hook anymore like it did when the when we first bought it. So yeah, there's history there. And now there's, there's, there's um, history of reliability and there's history of service. All-terrain sewer really helps you with two things. Number one, it, it reduces your cost risk because you're not um, down in the creek beds installing gravity sewer which you can run into tremendously expensive rock excavation. It's definitely a much lighter touch on the land and especially when you get into um, steep topography that we have in North Georgia and um, the reality is when you're putting gravity sewer in you're having to put it in um, in areas where you're going to have to do a lot of clearing adjacent to a lot of, of waterways. Um, it involves um, heavy permitting, heavy excavation, and you know the mountains are made of rocks and, and so the cost is very significant and trying to, trying to underwrite that cost becomes very difficult. Some, you know, you can do a lot of geotech and we have a lot of, of highly technical ways to look underground, but you still don't get it all. And you could hit a vein of rock that would you know cost millions of dollars and and so this kind of eliminates two things it eliminates that cost risk and it enables you to to leave a lot of land that would normally be disturbed in sewer easements as undisturbed so th those are the benefits of all trains the, the two that i see are really cost and the ability to um, not have to excavate and grade in severe topo